I've done USA like ever since I was really young. I started in the development programs before they even started like building it up in the pipeline. So I started that when I was probably like 12 and then every summer I did that. So I went to the, like Wisconsin Dells, um, Tucson, and a few other places for the high performance championships. And then two years ago I was on the youth national team and we went to Thailand. And we got second in the world championships there and that was an awesome experience. And then last summer I played on the youth national team again in Guatemala and we ended up winning the gold medal. But then this summer I wasn't able to because of my shoulder. It's so cool being able to wear like USA across your chest. I mean you go to a different country and everyone's like, oh my gosh, USA. So it's really awesome to know that like you're part of something bigger than what's actually around you and just representing your whole country. I always wanted to play in the Big Ten. It's such a competitive volleyball conference. My mom actually went to Purdue, and so I kind of started to think about it that, and I visited a few other places, and this just really felt right. Like, I loved the coaches, and I loved the girls, and I had family in the area, so it kind of just made it feel like the perfect fit. I have an aunt and uncle that live an hour away. Just to have, like, the support of someone being, like, a few hours, and just knowing that someone will be at the games, someone to say hi to, it's, like, so nice, and it just gives my parents another reason to come out here stay a little bit longer <laughs> to see me. There's so much stuff that I'm just like so thankful to have here, like an awesome training staff, coaches, just the girls here are so welcoming and I like could honestly cannot ask for anything more. Coming off an injury, it just makes you so much more grateful for the sport and be able to play in it every day. Cause I mean, I went like three or four months without even touching a volleyball. I could do some things here or there, but just getting back into a game is so different. It just like, I mean, two days are hard, but you think of it the way, like, I haven't played in so long that just, it's fun to get into the gym two times a day and be able to touch a ball as much as I can. Always growing up, sports have just been such a big part of our family, like, every weekend we're out doing something, always practicing, and so it's always just, like, been that bond that we're always doing active stuff together, and so my family just gotten me to where I am today. I started volleyball because my parents played on the beach, that's how they met, and so it's kind of like... I played soccer for a really long time, that was my favorite. And then it started, to, it obviously snows a lot in Colorado. So like, why don't you try volleyball? <laughs> so I tried volleyball and like ended up loving it. So just like having, my, since my brother plays basketball, having another athlete in the family makes you really want to work hard. And just, he's such an awesome role model to look up to and know that he's working super hard as well. This summer, I was probably outside for most, the majority of the days. We'd always find fun hikes to do, or just go to the pool, or just see what's around you, because Colorado is so beautiful. I'm just like excited to go back home to that. When I was younger, I skied a lot. This was the, I had to take a few years off because of volleyball, but this past year, I decided, you know, this is my last year, might as well start to do things again. So I learned to snowboard for the first time this year, and it was so much fun. So that's great during the winters. Um, during the summer, just kind of like going on drives and looking at the scenery around you, just driving up the mountains. Um, we go to the mountains a lot during the summer, so it's just a lot of fun. Just look at the scenery around you.